people really are amazing at their defense of something uh -huh. that, first of all, is so new mm -hmm. and has, has proven imperfections mm -hmm. in it. Everything but does. Just education. Wanna, right. But but they really just want to dig in and yeah. this is the new great thing. Right. And as a parent, you are seeing something not so good about them. Yeah, and when people get that way, often when you look at their... Like, I don't mix it up online, and I don't go on Twitter and mix it up with folks. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed at people like yourself. Oh, I will. <laughs> I am the worst. Who will take someone who has four followers <laughs> yes. and just make them a star. <laughs> to me, it's a uh, means to an end. Right. I need to get my word out there, but I need someone to ask me why that should but, be. But you do it every day here. Well, I know. You get your word out. Yeah. Oh, I know. I have a microphone. <laughs> I have the world's ear. Yeah. By, by the way, how, how old is your daughter? That was, that was her homework? Uh, nine years old. I have a 12-year-old and a nine-year-old. You, you, Louis Print showed one of the pictures oh, of the I, question. I loved it. Yeah. And I looked at it, and I actually got the answer, and I was proud of myself. <laughs> I, I'm a just lot of realizing people... she was a kid. Third grade. Yeah. And I felt Third good grade. about it. A lot of people write, what's the big deal? Numbers three. Answers three. Right. Answers three. Give you're me another 35. one. Yeah. Yeah. Give you're me wrong. <laughs> Give me another one. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. They don't get the point. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, nah, it's been a hassle for I mean, what made me do anything about it was that, um, you know, at school they've tried to organize some you know, rallies and stuff to get... The, it's a real problem for our school. Mm -hmm. um, so the principal, like, wrote l letters to the parents saying, please help us to, you know, get the word out about this. Right. Because what happened was there was a principal at a Brooklyn school. I forget her name or the school, but she said these tests, the English tests, not the math ones, the ELA tests, she said it's unbelievably r over the top. The, the the answers are unanswerable. The questions <laughs> are unanswerable. And then so the, the people, the standardized testing people and the, and the DOE, the Department of Education, said, well, she's the only one. She's the only one who, said, who thinks that. She's a, uh, an anomaly. So mm. all the other principals said, no, it's, we all feel this way. So there was, an, there was actually a need to get the word out that it's to have yeah. some unanimity and say it's not <clears throat> one person. Right. So, and my daughter, my 12-year-old, wrote a letter to, just on her own. She's, I asked her, she was writing something. I said, what are you writing? She said, I'm writing a letter to the Department of Education about the testing because she hates it because she wants to learn shit. She's a <laughs> devoted student. Shit. <laughs> so... I thought, well, geez, my daughter's fucking doing something, so um, I should do something I'm capable of doing, which is just write this one little tweet. I just oh, was going to write all. one. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> but then you put something that inflammatory out there, right. and then people go, they come after you. So because it was something that meant something, I had to try to clarify it for right. more tweets and then put these pages out there. And... Um, and then defend that, and it kind of got <laughs> crazy. Yes, it does snowball. <laughs> yeah, you, you said something lot. like the thing you hate about Twitter is you say something, and then someone responds, and then a bunch of people attack them. The thing you hate about Twitter is exactly what I love about. <laughs> yeah, it. I know, I know. Yeah, some guy Kill. wrote. Some guy wrote, "You shouldn't be commenting about this because you're not an expert." So, which mm. is a very touchy issue with this sure. whole thing, right? Which is that people that are experts think they should make policy and everyone should not right. only accept the policy, but don't don't talk even question about it. it. Right. Don't even say like what's so isn't everything helped by dialogue? Isn't absolutely <laughs> everything helped by information? Like we all must be the the thing of which we of which we do not speak. <laughs> <laughs> you know? This idea that it's this, there's a cloak over it. Don't shh, quiet. Right. Common core is work. It's not <laughs> work. Don't say anything about it. And you being a parent it makes yeah. you. Well, I'm not the a, end user. You're the end user, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And, and in a very important way, it's fucking children's education. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't have some power to say this has to go. And I didn't even say this has to go. I said, we're having, we're struggling. Mm -hmm. We're struggling. So. Often, very young people that don't look like they have kids that have, you know, <laughs> around usually 1,200 Twitter followers. Yeah. Because they have a blog somewhere. They go, you shouldn't. And the guy goes, you should not be talking. Oh. Because, and all I wrote back was, I have a child, two children in a public school in a state where testing is an issue. So right. I don't need your permission to comment. It, it wasn't even really hitting yeah, it's back. It's affecting you directly. But then there's just death this rain of shit. Right, just people right. going, you're 
fucking asshole, you cocksucker. Faggy, you fucking, you fucking suck yeah. a bag of dick, fuck you. <laughs> and then it's embarrassing uh, and it's tough to shit. take. Yeah, and yeah. your daughter's just frustrated because she really wants to learn and the testing just gets in the way constantly, you right? You spend like six months preparing for the right. thing. And then the test is three days. Three days of testing. Right. Like she's trying to get it to pass the bar exam. <laughs> Amazing. And none of it is teaching her anything. You're Nothing's not going in. Anything. Right. You're, of course. What, what is it like? Memorization of. Th you're not really learning anything. Well, I mean, it's a tricky thing mm. because they they change this. I don't know. It's I've learned a lot about it enough to know that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maybe very tricky. It's a very tricky it, issue. Yeah. But I do think. It's way out of whack right now, and it depends on where you are. Right. In some states, they roll out Common Core. In other words, they institute, they use the tests that use Common Core language and the importance of the tests. Like right. so they start young, so that a new generation of students is being taught this, and then it moves with them and every mm. year behind them. But here in New York, they just adopted Common Core for everybody all at once. Mm. So all of a sudden, kids that are being taught the old way have to pass a test with the new criteria the next year. And everybody flunked, like New York State oh, did very shit. badly, because they, you know, we're going to. Right. And there's people that think more nefarious things are going on. Mm. That Bill Gates and the people who, that Pearson, who published the tests, wanted Common Core to fail so that they could step in. It's and, obviously a conspiracy. Yeah, that's the way some people think of it. I don't yeah. think of it that way. I think I I start with the premise that everybody's trying to do their best sure. effort, but that's not always a good thing either. You mm, know? Yeah, yeah. Bill Gates brought education to many countries in Africa and wherever else. Sure, yeah, yeah. Places that didn't have any schools, and he just built schools, gave them computers and windows and all that stuff. Ah, yeah, yeah, scumbag. Uh, <laughs> well, he, yeah, exactly. He he's devoted most of his life to philanthropy, and so he's gone to countries and given education to whole countries that didn't have any schools. That's well, you know, why like the first person to give a billion dollars to uh, to charities. Yeah, like him and him and Warren Buffett are dollars. both. They, they have this the whole thing about, and it's great. Yeah. But then I think what and this is total unsupported conjecture it's what i've heard people say is that he wanted to uh do it here but there's already a school there's there are schools here <laughs> like it's not <laughs> it's not a rubble here right right yeah. so he's frustrated <laughs> Because in order to affect change in America, you have to go slow and get your hands dirty. You have to, you know, have to really talk to people that feel like they are idle to mm -hmm. a certain level. So the idea was cr change standardized testing like all at once to say, here's what you have to know. Everybody fails, and mm. then you can say the schools aren't working. So I now go, let's I'm, right, right. right. So, I'll come in and save the day. I got yeah. a good idea. To but that's make them work. I don't believe that's true. But I believe there's elements of that in there. I mean, from working in movies. The first step of um, when a movie gets handed in by a director, the first thing they want to say is it's bad so that they can now help fix it. <laughs> but you first you have to say something's bad right, in order to fix it. So you make a test. You go, how do you, how do you evaluate it? I'm going to make a test where everybody has to guess what color I'm thinking of. And if they can't do it, they're all, they all flunk. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, that's like the yeah. worst version of it that I don't believe in. <laughs> right. But it, that's how crazy an issue it is. Some people think that's what's going on. And that, you know, then Pearson is making a bunch of money by writing tests. Mm. But somebody's always made money writing yeah, tests. Yeah. How, so, um, how's the homework? Because my kids are a little, a few years behind yours. I'm panicking. How much homework am I going to have to deal with? Well, homework with is kids. a good thing. I mean, I hope my kids are challenged by school. I hope homework's hard. But, I hope everything they do is harder than what they're capable of. Right. That's how you get good at shit. Right. The idea that homework and tests is supposed to be a way for a kid to feel like they're really smart, then they're going to stay at a fucking stupid, self-congratulatory <laughs> third grade level until they're fucking... I just... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not... It should be really hard. It should be too hard, and, you, and it should be hard as a parent to sit with your kid and get it. But remember, we, uh, when we were growing up, maybe you got an hour and a half. Well, it, why not? 
Why they, doesn't it? Because they should be learning a lot at school. This I'm, homework is more important. I'm being selfish me. because I got, you know, my siblings all have... <laughs> you just don't no, have my, to my siblings all have older kids, and yeah. they, they call me, and they're like, we're doing their fucking homework every night. Yeah. We're we're now part-time teachers, because we have to work, uh, you know, work them through all this shit. Well, yeah, the thing yeah. you should be doing, you shouldn't help them figure it out, but you right. keep the thing you can do for your kid if you're nice is keep them company while they're having to do it. It's hard to sit there by yourself, and yeah. after a while, the kid is li literally laying on her back looking at the ceiling and moaning <laughs> right. she can't fucking do it and when it gets that and i'm trying to make dinner and she's doing that and then when it gets that bad i go and sit next to her and just keep going come on come on and you maybe read it out loud motivation. with her and that's yeah. how this started because i'm reading this thing i'm like oh, look honey you just have to look at the don't think of the whole big thing here do one problem okay what does this problem say and i read it and i'm like what the what? fuck is that? <laughs> that makes no sense that makes no and i'm like are they teaching you this she goes no they just put it on test prep they crunch pe test prep so you can sort of learn how to answer these questions. Jesus. Um, and they're poorly written questions. They're not intuitive. They're not em empathetic. Right. In order to teach a third grader, you need to understand how a third grader thinks. Uh huh. You can't just be some academic somewhere who says this. This is a very appropriate pattern of thinking <laughs> for a young mind. You have to go. I know a third grader named Evan, and he probably would never fucking get this. <laughs> so if you're trying to bring a kid to a new idea, you know, give him a path. Don't just stick the new idea in some other language. Yeah. Right. And go. If you don't get this, then fuck you and fuck your stupid teacher. <laughs> Got it. Definitely got it. Well, you know, it's like I always say, you give a man yeah. a fish he eats for a day, you teach a man a fish he eats forever. Back to you, Lou. <laughs>